Every time I talk about Sweetland, I bring up this idea that this is an opera that erases itself. Um, I like the idea that we are presenting a statement that is going to be honest in one iteration and then redacted in another. But being able to see those redacted lines, I think, changes that statement profoundly. The industry has often taken the audience on diverging paths and telling different narratives simultaneously. Sweetland is the first time that we're using that tactic to talk about American history. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. That, that thee I sing is a sweet land of liberty. That's not the United States of America. That's already the beginning of a mythical land. Sweetland is taking place here at the LA State Historic Park. And we chose this location for a number of reasons, but we felt that it was going to be the strongest dialogue partner with what this piece is about. It's not just American history. I think in any history, in any culture around the world, culture has always been with conflict and rebirth. The opera moves through different worlds that aren't always grounded in the reality that we think we know. The way even an artist will draw a line, like a charcoal line, and then you'll erase it and it's like not as visible, but there's shading or the paper is roughened or like something has happened that you can't forever remove. What if we show erasure? What if we show revision? What if we show remixing and let people see what happens when myth is being made? This is a new kind of way to engage with some of the historical uh, information that we have and blow it out. Blur the edges. It's sort of like watching an opera tear its own skin off and then staple gun it back on and then paint over the staple gun sutures with big brushes of white paint. What you're seeing is, in a way, a story or script with heavy redactions, and your eye can't ignore the big blacked out spaces. As we speak right now, it is happening. It's happening in so many corners of the world. And I want our audience to experience, not to say, okay, that happened to them, not me. This opera is all about a reckoning with our American identity, that we really look at the myths around who we are and try to dismantle that. 